r slash ask reddit what was your i could have died moment took all the meds i found didn't have to get charcoal but three days in the icu followed by two on the psych ward my boyfriend and i were determined to get to the top of fort rock in oregon back in spring it's not a climb that requires climbing equipment but the trail doesn't go to the top of fort rock it just goes up a smaller mountain next to it and the trail goes down the side of the larger mountain. You aren't supposed to go to the higher up mountain but we wanted to while it was hailing, in a desert, with really, really strong winds. We actually managed to get to the top just fine but the winds were so strong I actually fell off the side and luckily landed on a small ledge near the top and was totally fine. Absolutely would have died had it not been for that tiny ledge. We are idiots and continue to be idiots. Was walking near some train tracks and needed to get to the other side. Didn't want to wait for the train and it didn't sound very close so I ran across the tracks. I looked over to see it literally 50 feet away as I was crossing the tracks. I was a kid and to this day it's still weird to think that if I had even tripped or something I'd be dead. Don't race trains folks. 1. Eating potato chips then had to run for a shuttle bus on a college campus. Started choking then slipped and fell, as my plaid mini skirt flew up revealing a panty girdle to the arriving crowded bus. The black eye makeup pouring down my face from choking and crying didn't help. On the plus side, sat at the same table as Warren Beatty while he was campaigning for Bobby Kennedy on the same campus, so that was cool. When I went swimming in my friend's pool even though I can't swim and almost drowned. And then when I did it again in a lake. Haven't tried a third time I think I learned my lesson. Way too many to still be here. I can think of at least four with no trouble. Every time I try crossing the roads here in Bangladesh. Asia has non-existent traffic laws. Long story short I had GI cancer when I was a small child. I didn't realize until I was older but I could have and was probably supposed to die. My mother always tells me I'm a little miracle and honestly that just makes me depressed as I'm nearly 40, and don't really have a whole lot to show for it. But I'm working along. Flexed biceps. I went to rehab to get clean off drugs, I'm 7 years clean today. My drug of choice was meth. When I went to detox the doctor asked me a whole bunch of questions regarding my drug abuse. I told him that I also used heroin, which I didn't, knowing they would give me some meds that would get me high because heroin addicts need to taper off. When it came time for meds, sure enough I was right and they gave me some shit that made me high as a kite. I went to lay down in my room and I ended up overdosing and aspirated on my own vomit. I woke up in the hospital. Apparently another detox patron that was bunking in my room saved me because he saw what was happening. I used that experience to stay clean all this time. Fell backwards off a two-story building but first while cleaning the gutters. At the very least, I should have landed on my tailbone, broken my back, and been a paraplegic. I happened to fall directly into a two feet wide bush, which broke my fall. It was the only soft object for 100 feet in all directions. A miracle by all accounts. When I was 18 and attempted to do a handbrake turn on a bridge. In an automatic car. Ended up in a random guy's car in high school back when I was hot shit. It was just me and my friend. About 10 minutes into hanging out he confesses he's a drug dealer and literally pulls a gun on us laughing about how he could kill us and we'd never spread that info in our very small town i was probably 16 and thought we would die in that jeep definitely became more careful of the people i trusted a car had an accident and was blocking the road i lost patience and yelled at the lady to get out of the way she turned toward me and i realized that it was my best friend's mom she used to babysit me when i was a kid she's like an aunt to me sight that wasn't my best move i went to a shooting range and had to fight the urge to point the gun at myself 
went camping on a rural beach on a rural island with a friend, both 34F at the time. It was about 2 a.m. and we were just talking while the last few bits of wood from the fire were fizzling out. An older man, local, came up to us out of nowhere and seemed to be drunk, maybe drugs but he was kind of jovial about his problems. He was going on about his cheating wife and life problems, we empathized with him and listened to him for a bit before before wishing him a good night letting him know we were calling it a night. There was a pause and with the utmost clarity in his voice he said if you were to scream right now do you think anyone would hear you? I slept with my machete clutched to my chest that night, not sure if I actually slept but as soon as the sun came up we were out of there. During the Zandemic I decided to try it by myself. Took two for the first time, not even sure what they were or what dose, and woke up almost 48 hours later with stories from my friends of stuff I did that I had no recollection of at all. I drove and stuff with zero control of my mind or body. I was in Alaska. I inched on my belly to look over a cliff down 400 feet to a glacier below. When I looked down, I realized I was on an overhang, and the ledge wasn't made of rock, but clay. I inched back very carefully, and told my dad it wasn't a good view. Was crossing the road and a car almost hit me as well as two other pedestrians. Probably the time I nearly fell off a boat. Pretty mundane story. I was on a boat tour, in October, some kid got under my feet and sent me stumbling backwards. Only thing that kept me from going over the side was this little old lady being close enough to armbar me. Scariest shit that ever happened to me. Falling off a boat is no joke. And in October? At night? I'd be dead if that lady had been a few feet to the left. Or hell, if I even weighed 20 to 30 pounds more. I don't think she could have done what she'd done if I wasn't petite AF. When my mother caught me and a girlfriend having sex. Died isn't the word for it. Fooling around, I slipped and slid, coming to halt with my feet hanging just over the edge of this. Only one other person in the group saw it happen. His face said it all. Car accident when I was four. Passed out and fell face first into an open oven when I was 12. Fell off a 12 foot ladder when I was 18. OD'd on painkillers when I was in my early 20s. Full body hives causing anaphylaxis three times in my mid 20s. Way back in college, a million years ago. I was riding in the back seat of a car with a few friends. On a fairly lonely country road, the road came to AT and we were going left. I was in the middle of the back seat and had a good view of what the driver was doing. We came up to this T, and the driver hit the gas to make a left, and then a half second later slammed the brakes as a huge truck roared past from the left. It was so close. If the driver had delayed hitting the brakes until half a second later, all five of us in that car would have surely died. Driving to work at 4.30 am. Van in the oncoming lane the driver fell asleep and beelined right for me. Heard myself screaming as I pulled into a ditch at 60 mph. Got the truck stopped in some snow. About 20 feet up the road was a drop off into a quarry. Was in a conflict area and the whole neighborhood was told to evacuate, I choose to stay home. Fast forward it's the middle of the night and artillery shells start blasting the neighbor's house I'm running down the street artillery shells are landing right in front and behind me with rubble everywhere. Let's just say I never knew I can run that fast. The big flood of 1996 I was at Girl Scout camp in a tent, I was in Illinois, not sure how many other states were affected. A couple of other campgrounds flooded. Roads washed away. So. Since we were on the highest ground, the other camps came to ours. There were no roads to get to or from the camp for several days after camp was officially over. We were on partial rations since we were at camp longer than expected and feeding other camps. The storm was incredibly intense but I didn't realize just how bad it was until I was older. 
there was news footage from a helicopter where all of us were at the swimming pool and there was water completely surrounding the campground. I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder but I don't do anything about it so I almost died twice this year. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.